Hello everyone, welcome back from the weekend. Uh, we're going to continue on with Unit 2 today and we are going to take a look at the lone divider method. Uh, up to this point with the divider chooser method that I, I showed you all of last week, uh, we could only do a division between two people. All right, so uh, the lone divider method takes that divider chooser method and it extends it into a situation where we could actually use it for as many uh, people as we wanted. So if we had a piece of cake or a pie or a bunch of candy and we were uh, dividing that stuff up amongst uh, more than one person, uh, or I'm sorry, more than two people, three people, four people, five people, the lone divider method uh, is, is a method that will work for any number of parties. So it's, it's a really nice method. Um, so the way that it works, right, and I got this step by step right here, uh, there's still going to be somebody that is randomly chosen to be the divider. They are the lone divider. All right, and the divider is going to take whatever it is you're dividing and it's going to divide it into n pieces based on the number of people that we have to divide it by. So if you were dividing a cake amongst four people, the divider would come in with a knife and he would cut it into four equal pieces. All right, so remember it's it's still the same as it was with the divider chooser in that when the divider cuts that that cake into pieces each piece has to be equal in value in the divider's eyes okay now the other people that look at the cake after it has been cut uh, they will separately list which pieces they consider to be a fair share so they're going to place a value on each of the different pieces that are created by the divider they're not going to have the same uh, evaluation of the pieces that the divider does or any of the people involved in the division all right so once they assign their values uh, if it's possible you, it might be possible to just give each person a piece of the cake that they consider to be a fair share without anything complicated happening so there you have the divider that comes in and cuts it and there's a piece that everyone would be happy with and you're able to just distribute those pieces which is great all right but if for some reason there is no nice way to uh, give the pieces of cake away in a way that everyone would think they would get a fair share uh, then what you do is you give the one piece of cake to the divider that no one uh, that no one really cares for and then uh, the rest of the pieces are recombined a new divider is chosen and you repeat the process okay so we'll see that we'll see that here in the examples that we do uh, so let's do a really easy uh, example to start this off okay so again imagine uh, you have three people all right so we have two choosers and a divider and we have this uh, this piece of cake all right, so a piece of fictional cake here. And this divider comes in and divides the cake up. And this is gonna be a horrible division. Uh, so this is not even remotely close to a good division, but this is how the divider decides to cut up this cake. And of course, the divider sees each of these pieces as exactly one third of the cake by the rule of the method. Okay, they have to. They have to value each of these pieces equally. All right, so the divider evaluates the three pieces of cake at 33.3%. Now the other two, they place their valuations on these pieces as they see fit, okay? So they are gonna make a declaration. Once they assign their values, they're gonna make a declaration. So chooser one, okay, is gonna declare that piece one is a fair share. So we'll say piece one is a fair share because it's above 33.3%. All right, so remember a fair share in this situation is gonna be one third of the cake. And these two pieces are below one third, according to chooser one, and this piece is the only one that is above. So this would be his declaration for the piece of cake that he would be happy with. Now chooser two is gonna do the same thing. Okay, so chooser two says, well, piece one is also a fair share for me, so I would be happy with that one. And so then we go to assignments, right? Is there a nice way to assign these pieces of cake? Uh, and as it turns out, there, there is not, okay? So uh, what would happen is uh, piece two or piece three, uh, you could take either one of those pieces and give it to the divider, and you would tell the divider, go ahead and go away. You've got your piece of cake, you're good. And let's, so let's say we give piece three, to the divider and we tell him to go away, he's gonna be happy with that piece of cake. Then we recombine piece one and piece two and, and then they would do the divider chooser method between just the two of them, okay, with that remaining cake. 
All right, so we didn't get to the assignments in this one, but that's okay. Uh, so let's take a look at another example here. All right, so we have Abby, Brian, Chris, and Dorian. They're dividing a plot of land, and Dorian was selected to be the divider through a coin toss. All right, so each person's valuation of each piece is shown below. So we can see Dorian was the divider, right? So all four pieces are equal in his eyes. All right, so that's why these are all at 25%. And since we are dividing amongst four people, it's important to remember that the fair share is going to be 25% percent here all right so these people Abby Brian and Chris they're only going to be happy with pieces that are uh, above 25 percent okay so if I go here and I look at Abby's evaluations she would be happy with piece two and she would be happy with piece four so I'm going to write that down in her declarations so piece two and piece four those are the ones that she would be happy with now Brian would be happy with piece one piece two or piece four okay. and then Chris would be happy with piece two that's the only one he'd be happy with all of the rest of them are below 25% uh, so Chris is happy with piece two and we're gonna come over here and let's see if we can find a nice way to give each person a piece of land that they would be happy with so we're gonna say Abby Brian and Chris and since Chris would only be happy with piece two let's just go ahead and give him piece two okay so now piece two is gone in all of these declarations now that piece two is gone the only piece that Abby would be happy with is piece four so we'll give her piece four and then I go over here and I like to cross off piece four and then the only one that's left for Brian that he would be happy with is piece one okay so this is how I would assign the pieces, right? Brian would get piece one, which he values at 30%, so he'll be happy with that one. Abby would get piece four, which she values at 35%, so Abby would be happy. And then Chris would get piece two, which he values at 45%, so he would be happy. And the remaining piece for Dorian, the remaining piece would be piece three, which would be okay with Dorian because he was happy with any of the pieces since he was the divider. So this would be their declarations. This would be the final assignment in that scenario. Each person would walk away happy. That one worked out nicely. Okay. So let's take a look at one that doesn't work out nicely, right? just like we saw in problem one. And we'll actually go through the motions and uh, show you what happens here, okay? So suppose the, pre the, the valuations in the previous problems are as follows, okay? So Dorian is still the divider, and so he's okay with any of the four pieces. They're all valued at 25%, which is great. And again, don't forget that our fair share is 25% still, because we're dividing up amongst four people. All right, so we're going to go through, we're going to do our declarations. We'll start with Abby, and we go through, Abby's going to be happy with piece two and piece four. And then Brian is going to be happy with piece two and piece four. And Chris is only going to be happy with piece two. Okay, and then we're going to try and do our assignments, right? So we'll say Abby, we've got Brian, and we got Chris. And we'll, we'll do Dorian last, because Dorian's gonna be happy with anything. So let's see here, so Abby, uh, let's see, Chris is probably the one we should start with, because he's only gonna be happy with piece two, so we'll assign him piece two, and those all go away. And the only piece that, would, uh, that Abby would be happy with is piece four, but that's also the only piece that Brian would be happy with. So there's no way to make Abby and Brian happy in this scenario if we give piece two to Chris. Uh, and since piece two is the only one Chris would be happy with, well, there's just no simple settlement here, all right? So we have piece two, piece four. These are the ones that everyone is interested in. So we could give piece one or piece three to Dorian and say, okay, have a nice day, you're done. All right, you're, you, you got your piece and, and you're happy, okay? So let's say uh, that we gave piece three to Dorian, that would mean that we take piece one, piece two, piece four, recombine them into one big piece, and choose a new divider. 
Okay, so in the second round, Brian is going to be selected to be the divider. Okay, so that, that piece that we put back together, right, from the original first round, piece one, piece two, and piece four were put back together into one big piece of land, and Brian now chopped that new piece of land up into three sections. All right, so Brian's the divider, and we can see their new evaluations in the second round here. So again, Brian being the divider, he thinks all three pieces are equivalent, which is great. And then Abby goes and says, okay, well, the only piece I'd be happy with here is piece one. Because remember, now we're only dividing amongst three people, so the fair share in the second round is 33.33%. So she's only going to be happy with piece one, and Chris is only going to be happy with piece one. <laughs> I didn't make this easy on us. All right, so we would go through, and uh, we would have to. We, we obviously see we're not going to get a nice assignment here. That's that's not an issue. So obviously Abby and Chris are interested in piece one, so we can give piece two or piece three uh, to Brian. Uh, so we'll give piece two to Brian, and then we would recombine piece one and piece three and then have Abby and Chris do the divider chooser method that we learned last week on that last recombined piece, okay? So that that's how that works when it doesn't work out nicely. You just take whatever's left, you recombine it amongst any all the choosers and reassign a new divider, okay? So that is the loan divider method. We'll look at some more examples of that tomorrow uh, to make sure that we got it nailed down. If you have any questions, make sure you come on back to the Zoom chat and let me know. Have a great day, guys.